Hello, Scorpio. This is your October 2018 tarot reading. And I am doing an astrological spread this month, so I will be pulling at least one card for each of the 12 astrological houses. So let's get right into it. I hope everyone is having a great month. Let's start with house one. House one, you have the deception and envy card. Okay, moving on to house two. House two, you have the mental conflict card. House three, you have the temptation card. Let's see what's going on in house four. House four, you have the shadow card. Moving on to house five, this one wants to come out. That's your intuition card. I always pull one extra card when that one comes out. Okay, house five. You have the Movement, Choices, and Decisions card. Let's see what's going on in House 6. Patience and Planning. Okay, moving on to House 7. House 7 is dealing with your partnerships. You have the Authority card. Let's see what's going on in House 8. Heartache and Loss. Let's see. House 9, you have Love Begins. House 10, which is your career house, you have New Beginnings. House 11, which deals with your friendships, you have Spiritual Union. And House 12, which deals with secrets and spirituality, you have Choose Wisely. Okay, so let's also look... I'm going to pull one oracle card, and this is going to be your overall message for this month. This is going to tie this reading together. You have the bride offers herself. So I'll get into this once we get to that part of the reading. Okay, so let's start off with house one. Remember, house one is how you appear to people. Okay, so this month, Scorpio, a lot of people are going to see you as a deceitful person and maybe even, maybe even, even envious of someone. So just watch out for that. If, if you find yourself being jealous of someone or thinking about doing anything deceptive, just hold that thought. Don't act on it. Okay. Now, let's look at your finances because with your finances, you have the mental conflict card. And this can talk about when it comes to your finances, maybe there's purchases you want to make, but then you know that it's not in your budget. So this is causing mental conflict for you related to your finances. Let's look at what's going on in your communications. So you have the temptation card. So a lot of you out there might be tempted to communicate. I believe, I believe Aries had this card as well. Um, some of you Scorpios might be tempted to communicate in a very unfriendly way to someone this month. Remember, watch out for that. These two are tying in together. Okay, now let's look at your home and family life. You have the shadow card. This represents that there are some things that you need to work on related to your home and your family life. Okay, so try to work on those things this month. Now, as far as your area of life dealing with fun, creativity, romance, you are, well, you have the movement choices and decisions card. So this says that you do have a lot of options this month when it comes to having fun, when it comes to being creative. So your task is to make the right decision to make the right moves in that area of your life. As far as your daily routine and your health, you are exhibiting a lot of patience this month, Scorpio. So that's great. And looking at your partnerships, you have the authority card. So when it comes to your partnerships, you do tend to take charge or take control in that area of your life. 
Okay, so that's good. Now, also, even though you do have the authority card and this is a good thing to have, it's a good quality to exhibit, be careful not to try to dominate anyone in your partnerships, whether it's your business partnerships or whether it's your romantic partnerships. Be careful not to come off as being um, dominating, okay? Just watch out for that. Now, when it comes to sharing resources, you do, you might have a, some of you Scorpios, remember, this is a general reading. So some of this will resonate with you. Some of it might not resonate with you. Now, all of it could possibly resonate with you. But related to sharing your resources, you might have a little bit of heartache and loss this month. So maybe this is what's causing you to exhibit this authoritative personality this month. You might be sharing resources with someone and they are not being honest or not living up to your agreement. And you might have to very well exhibit this. But use your judgment in that, okay? Just use your judgment. Now, as far as your legal matters, you have the love begins. So any legal matters you need to take care of or any higher education thoughts you have, you have the love begins card. So everything looks great in that area of your life. A lot of you Scorpios are beginning a new journey when it comes to your career. You have the new beginnings card. So this is really great for you. And as far as in your friendships, you have the spiritual union. So that area of your life looks great as well. Your friendships look great. Your career looks great. You're, you are patient in your daily life. Now let's look at what's going on with House 12. You have the Choose Wisely card. This deals with secrets. It deals with spirituality. It also deals with manifesting your dreams. So when you think about manifesting your dreams this month, Scorpio, remember to choose wisely. Now, let's get into this message for this month. You have the bride offers herself. So let's see what that card is about. I'm just going to read a little bit about this card. Okay, it says, accept what is being offered now. There is a gift of grace reaching for you now. This oracle also brings a message that a time of importance in relationships has arrived. Isn't this so on point? A time of importance has arrived in your relationships. So yes, you do need to exhibit your authority in your relationships, in your relationships this month. Okay, let's see. A time of importance has arrived in your relationships. You have been revealing yourself and not being afraid of who and what you are. Isn't this so on point? You have been revealing yourself and not being afraid of who and what you are. Okay, that is awesome. Now, your vulnerability and beauty is acknowledged and will attract the response you need at the perfect time and in the perfect way. So this is really, that's really great for you. Okay. So just remember when it comes to your finances this month, you will have a little bit of mental conflict. Just remember to have some type of self-control when it comes to your finances. And if you are tempted to maybe get into an altercation with anyone, try to hold that thought and have patience this month. And yes, you are the authority in your relationships, but try not to dominate the other person. You know, just watch out for that. Now, this has been your October 2018 tarot reading, Scorpio. If you like the video, press the like button. If you um, would like a reading, 
contact me at metaphysicalmoonlighters.com and we can get that scheduled for you. Now, until next month, Scorpio, enjoy your month.